Right. All that back there is known as B Compton Bishop now. There's a really nice plaque. I never knew that before. This is the M5. Terrible, isn't it? Look at all that. top of Crook's Peak I would have then walked around a lovely quiet path but I'm glad I tried to explore the other way um, I just feel that that path would be higher up but look at this carving through the beautiful Somerset countryside but you wouldn't know it when you're on the peak you, oh, it's just a distant hum you hear But uh, that's the Webbington Hotel, famous hotel. A lot of stars used to play there and stay there. Um, I think Frankie Howard had something to do with that place as well. So there's the peak. today I, I, it was a day of exploring really and making a few errors but um, I don't always actually climb onto the peak I do tend to most of the time but uh, today I decided that little sparrow I decided to um, go back to Weston not do a circular if the weather had changed and it got worse I think I would have gone up the peak and then just gone back down just met some Irish workmen digging putting the optic fibres down yeah lovely Irish accent yeah I had a chat with him for a while one of them He's only been in Ireland, uh, England for five years. He comes from Southern Ireland. He had a lovely accent. He's, uh, he's got a nice log cabin uh, he's got now in, in Cheddar. So um, I'm glad for him that he's got that. I'm just looking for the turning eventually that will take me... I always forget where it is, by the way. I always forget, it could be up here, it could be up here, it might not be. Yeah, now there again, you see, sometimes they are good and they'll put a sign there. The West Mendip Way we pick up now. Now we're, we're going to enter peace and then we're going to stop at a lovely church at Loxton. A very old medieval church, I always stop there. Um, the good thing about walking this time of day is... Um, the churches have all been open so far. It would, it would have been very, very blowy up on the top, but we're still viewing the peak. Okay, we haven't gone and stood on the top today because I'm doing a different route. Okay. But I am going to be doing this route in reverse, coming from Weston. Walking from Weston and back over. I'm going to be doing that and then I will probably divert up the peak. 
we do it the other way round. I mean, I do. I, I could stay up there wandering around up there all day. I love it over there. I could do with a day just up on um, up, up on that area. Spend a day wandering about and then just going back to Winscombe. <sighs> Having some chips or tea and cake or something and then get getting the bus back. Now I've never gone up there but someone's told me that when you go up there you can get another style that takes you up another part um, but I've never I haven't tried it so I'm going to keep to a familiar path which is well signposted with nice fresh stickers and I'm gonna I don't know if I videoed this uh, I probably was here I've probably done it last year I normally do this walk every single year. In fact, I know I did it last year. But I haven't done it reverse for a long time, so I really need to do that. There's such a lot to do in Somerset, besides going off family tree stuff. I've got to make myself do my walks to keep healthy and get my vitamin D. Right, if you look over there, a lot of people when they first see it think that's the church, that tower there, but it's not. We'll be passing that later. It's a, it's a big house. The church actually is a bit further along. Very plain and Puritan looking. And that's the church there of Loxton. It's a lovely old church, it really is. And there's even a bloke called, I think he's called John Loxton. But I did notice some Loxtons also buried at Coombe Bishop Churchyard. So what it is, we go across this field, surrounded by beauty, lovely warm breeze, I mean I have got here quicker than if I'd gone up, up the peak, but that wasn't, that isn't the idea, I mean I think I was trying to do catch up a bit after making the error earlier of getting stuck in gorse and brambles and having to turn back and walk up a hill in the extreme heat which I've seen is wasting up to half an hour to an hour of time but it wasn't, it was a learning curve and not only that it was a steep learning curve not only that I managed to get some images I've never taken of St Andrew's Church before from, the, from different angles so, and I, I had a lovely, I also took a lovely picture of a, a baby rabbit. All these things count. Now if I turn round, there we have it. Crooks Peak. In all its glory and beauty. I'm sure it's eroded over the last couple of years. More so, because more and more people are going up there. Probably robbing the stones. It doesn't look quite as peakish as it used to. I don't think so. I'd have to compare photographs. Right, over and out for now, everyone. <laughs>